Well, this might be one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Oh God, I hope he's just slow enough. Welcome back. As you can see by the uh, preview in today's video, it's going to be a very, very big episode. Today marks the very first big build in this series. So you're gonna wanna preemptively leave a like and a subscribe to this channel because you know it's gonna be good. So here's the challenge I face. I'm building it in the air. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not very far off the ground, but you know, I can't ever build things just on the ground. They, you know, they have to be up in the air where it's hard to get to and scaffolding and dirt both don't really work because I'm a millennial and I hate myself, obviously. I've designed this building creative and unfortunately uh, we don't have access to infinite supplies. So I've had to do a little bit of smelting here to get some of the supplies going. And uh, we have built up quite quite the haul. In addition, I have decided to make it a little bit more difficult because I really want to use the new pottery blocks that come with the 1.2 update. I really love the way that these look. I love that they're not completely full blocks and they just add some really interesting, nice detail. The only problem is, is that they're really kind of hard to find, especially the cool ones, which I guess, you know, it's to be expected, but come on. I mean, can anything ever just be simple? Out. So the first order of things today is that we need to go ahead and find some trail ruins. And then we need sandstone, like a lot of sandstone. Like what I have over there is not, it's, it's just not, it's not, it's not enough. It's not enough. I need more. I need more. Sometimes my voice gets really low when recording videos. My natural speaking voice is up here, but sometimes my recording voice is down here. And I'm like, why, why, why do I do that? Okay, now I just saw some... Wait, what is that? Wait, this is... What is this? Wait a second. You give gold. No. You give dye. So, I thought these were supposed to be large. Oh, it just keeps going. Whoa, brick. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was something new. Looks like we got our first pottery shard. Burn pottery shard. Oh, that's fire. Oh, it keeps going. It's like completely buried, which, you know, makes sense because it's the archaeology update. Okay, once I said it, I felt really stupid. Oh, they made a Harry Potter armor. Well, let's like... An hour later, the blocks with the hidden stuff, uh, those break instantly. Like, they just, they just, they just snap. So I had to go very slow. But we did get a lot of treasures. A lot of junk. It's pretty awesome. That took a lot longer than I expected. I really didn't think it would take like 45 minutes to clear out a trail ruins. But we did manage to find some of these uh, new armor sets. And you know, I, between episodes, I did find myself some netherite because I was, you know, bored. And I tried out a couple of these trims. Ah, uh, I kind of like them. The pant one sort of looks like I have a wrestling belt on, but I kind of wish there was more of them. By the way, this, 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 this sucked to get. According to the wiki, these have only a 10% uh, chance to spawn in a bastion. So I had to go bastion hunting at four o'clock in the morning. So for this build, there's a few things that we're going to need, which is why I set up this sniffer farm a little while ago. Um, I didn't know you could breed them. I went looking for eggs. Uh, turns out you can just breed them. Yeah. Yeah. They use these torch flowers. And yeah, you could you could just you could just you could just make you can just make more. You can just make more. You don't have to go and find these. They don't break. You could jump on them. I don't know if this is intentional. Oh man, that'd be really cool if those wouldn't break. What does this look like if we made it into a... Like... Oh. Can I flood this? I can't. Oh, that would have been like a cool like dinosaur world build. They're really annoying. <laughs> like, does anyone else think that they're really annoying? 
Like they're kind of cute for like 10 minutes and then it's like, shh. I almost want that hermit craft. Uh, what's that thing? They use like a name tag to silence them. That, that might be a data pack that I have to install. You loud. So this entire build, all of this, this, this circle, it's actually bigger than this circle, but this circle is going to be for one thing, an iron farm. Yeah, an iron farm. Why, why make things simple when we can make things complicated? That is the trademark saying here on this channel. Why be simple when you can be complicated? I'd play that Avril Lavigne song, but I do not want to get DMCA'd. I think we should just jump into this because I do not have enough sandstone to get all of this. And I don't really want to wait though until I do. I kind of like to get some progress going. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first part's done. We have all the makings of the platform for where the iron golems are going to be spawning. And in typical iron farm fashion, there'll be villagers and a zombie, and they'll just walk in here and then go boop and die. All of this is going to get filled in, but it's pure sandstone. So how about I just do that on my own? I really love the way that it looks in my creative test world, and there's a lot of fun features, but it's a lot of materials. And if I can just get this base plate out without it having to worry about it, I think that's going to be the best decision. So let me just do a transition. Um, editing me. Do a cool transition. Okay. I'm... I needed a break after I did this. This took four hours to lay. I'm going to go free cam. But four hours just to do this. I did not plan accordingly. <laughs> An insane amount of sandstone. We've got netherrack, tough, and we have these purple terracotta inlays that look like skulls and bones. Because in this Colosseum, death reigns supreme. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so what we have to do next is we need, well, we need some supplies. And the only way that we can really get those supplies is by going to the nether. Because I need a few things, including bone meal and, of course, warped wood. After all, this is going to be the blue district of my build. I went into Photoshop and I kind of separated the work areas into different districts. Dicks, 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 dis, districts. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm leaving that in. I'm, I'm leaving that in. Welcome to the districts. Okay. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Okay. So not only do we need, uh, not only do we need bone meal, but we also need the warped wood. And of course we need mud. We need a lot of mud and I don't have a single hay crop. This happens to be the only crop that I have. Well, I mean, do you count those as a crop? Hey, those aren't going in. So we need to raid some villages. We need to go and we need to decimate the local hay economy. It's in local villages. And by local, I mean, it's like a thousand, two thousand blocks that way, a thousand, two thousand blocks that way. Pick a direction where thousands of blocks from a village. Thankfully, there is a warp forest just nearby. Oh, we could get these shroom lights too. I forgot about those. Is it weird that I still expect like a creeper to show up? I still feel like I'm gonna just turn around and there'll be a creeper. Boom, it'll all be all over. That fear of creepers just, it never goes away. I think I'm lost. Oh no. Um. Crap. So next on my list is mud. The interior of my build is going to have, ooh, hello. Like I was saying, we need to get mud. Ooh. And perfect landing. I'm really getting better at that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have jinxed that. I need a totem of undying, that's what I need. And now we harvest. I'm not gonna lie, being in the swamp at night with no light, 
That's, uh... That inspires a lot of fear in me. And sure, I could have turned on the gamma, but, you know, a little fear is good for the soul. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Um, I may or may not have killed a dude with a flag. So... What if we just start a raid? Here they come. Over here. Oh, that little dude just ran right in there. Um, there's one. If I just, you know, kill him. Oh, they're all there. They're all there. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not expect them to explode like that. Dunum, 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 dunum. Look at him zooming. Where'd he go? Dude's got the magic. Look at the speed. Deja vu. Ooh, vexes. Everyone's dead. Oops. You know, Moyang doesn't really want us to set them up in like villager prisons for trading and stuff, but apparently raiding them and killing the entire village just for a few totems is A-OK. -okay. Seems a bit hypocritical to me, but you know, that's just between us. I think it's time to start building the big boy. There's a feeling that I want to emit. And if you've ever seen the Lizzie McGuire movie, which if you haven't, regardless of what generation you're from, you need to watch it. There's a certain feeling that you get when you enter a coliseum. And I wanted to recreate that. I used to go to one of the coliseums. Well, it's not really a coliseum. It's a stadium. But the stadium that was nearest me is called the uh, Rose Garden. And I used to go to all these basketball games with my father. And I thought... It'd be kind of a fun way to remember him in my Minecraft world by creating a stadium that sort of evoked the same feeling, but it also functioned as a death pit. Form and function. That's what we do here, right? Form and function. Grab your popcorn, grab your sandwich, grab your bag of Doritos. No, not sponsored. God, I wish I was sponsored by Doritos. I would overdose on Cool Ranch. All right, so grab your Cool Ranch Doritos. Grab your Taco Bell, strap in, because we are about to build the big one. Let's go. Bet you thought I was going to die like I did in my last world. <laughs> I'm edging you. I meant teasing. Unless you're over the age of 25 and consent to that. Always get consent, folks. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to do here on the interior. With there being four entrances, that means that there needs to be a little bit of variety. Now, you this, this, this is going to get covered up mostly, so there's not going to be a lot of color in here. So on the outside, I want to do some color, but on the interior where all the seats are, I want to do like another peasant entrance and then kind of a special entrance and then boom, right here will be the VIP section for me because there's only me in this world. So you'll see like right here, there's gonna be like an entrance, not this color obviously, but there'll be like a, like entrances to a monster cave. If you've ever seen movies that include a Coliseum, they always have those guys that sit and wait in order to come out and battle. But because this is an iron farm, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them monster cages. Build a little monster in there that kind of looks like it's waiting to come out and you know, eat all the villagers. Oh, you know what? No. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea for it. I have an idea for it. I hope I don't die. Well, that is a cool shot. Whoa. I... Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Imagine you're coming out of a stadium and it's like, are we under attack? Oh, there's another dragon. By the way, I still need names for them. This one's my favorite. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. I just threw an egg and got four chickens. In one egg. I wasn't even recording because I was just gonna like 
put some stuff away. I didn't know you could get four chickens and one egg. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, buddy, you are not looking good. All right, I think this is the order I want them in. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. <laughs> All right, sue me. It's not a perfect rainbow. It's just about sparking joy. And bring Ooh, that's the wrong spot. Sparking joy, bringing color, and vibrancy, and things I normally wouldn't use. Typically, I try to build as natural as I can, but you know what? Screw it. It's a new season. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. Yeah, I, I quoted Michael Boobles, okay? I quoted Michael Boobles. I almost hit my head there. But I am kind of color coordinating the areas on this island into different districts of color. So we've got the blue district here. There'll be like the pink and orange district over there, purple over there. So it makes sense to have all of the different colors in the stadium. Well, as you can see, I have had some extra unwanted visitors. Uh, they're technically a little bit early. You see, my idea for the monsters that I was going to use in here was ravagers. I wanted to put three ravagers in these kennels instead of building my own monsters, mostly because they add a little bit of life. So these guys are definitely a little bit early. Um, I did not, I have nothing ready. Hello, can you, can you go there? Can you, can you move into that? Yeah, okay. I think that keeps him there, but I don't know. You see, he's there, and, well, I'm gonna go free Cam. Um, the, these are my villagers here, and it's daytime, so I can't exactly just, you know, shove them in a box. Can I? I need to protect the villagers, and I also need to get the Ravager. Do I even have a name tag? I don't know. Will he stay in there? I think he will. Okay, you stay peacefully in there. I hope, wait, do you have, do I need to make air holes? Can you just, there. Okay, we need a path up here. I think Ravagers can travel up one by ones. Is this gonna be, <gasps> I did not plan that. That just worked out. Oh my god, I'm good. Alright, I found my name tags. Duh, boys. Yeah, it's a stupid name, but it's alright. They're just monsters in a kennel. So, I've made these temporary kennels. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna make this three high. I don't think they can get through here. I hope. Um... Right, so what we need to do is we need to trap them. And I need them to come up here, and then I will jump through here and survive. What do you say we give it a whirl? If it doesn't work, we will always wish it did. Okay, but where is the raid? Oop. Oh, I almost killed myself before the raid even started. Oh, Villager, you better run. Homie, you better go go. I didn't I didn't lock him in. Oh no. Wait, are they coming from up there? That could not be better. Okay, so if I stay up here, will they just come from up here? But are they down below or up above? Oh, there's one there. They're on my dragon? Oh, come on, game. I oh I swung too early. All right, now the problem that I'm having is that I don't want my uh, iron golems to kill the ravager before it shows up. Don't stand there. 
Oh, there's a Ravager in here. There's a Ravager. There's a Ravager. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, God, where'd he go? Me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh man, okay. Ooh, he almost gets up there though. Get in, come on. <gasps> He's too big. Um, pss, 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 pss. He got stuck! He got stuck! Yes! Yes! It nearly cost me my life. I don't mind me. Ugh. He's named. Okay. Ugh, he's named. Uh. Oh. Does that mean that the raid is technically. Does that mean the raid ends here? I did not think about that. That, that he can't see me. But I gotta make sure to build downwards. Because if he stands up on that ledge, and then he does a little oopsie doopsie jumps too high, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> what do I do? Do I just fly away and cancel the raid? And then, I mean, there is a, there is a tower over there. I could go get another raid. Is that going to be what I have to do? That's probably going to be what I have to do, isn't it? Okay, let's just make this more complicated than it needs to be. Ah, well, I just did a little quick Googling, and uh, apparently it takes 40 minutes for a uh, raid to expire. 40 IRL minutos. Hmm. Shit. Well, it's been about 40-ish uh, minutes, I think a little... A little faster and the raid is gone which means we can do this another two times all right virus secured wait raiders remaining one does it restart the raid it does doesn't it huh i'm gonna have to use the nether for this aren't i well, this might be one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Oh god, I hope he's just slow enough. Ooh. Well, he's free in the overworld now. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this just in case. Uh... Where's my Ravenger? Oh no. Oh god, I have to do it all over again. You suck. Oh god, he's finally up here. Please don't kill me, 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 please don't kill me. Bro, Ravengers are terrifying. God. Oh my god, I actually curled my toes. Yes. Oh no. Oh, did we get him? Is he in? Does this mean he's in? This means he's in. Oh god, I'm gonna lose my pants for this. Hi. He's named. I did it. Oh my god, I did it. One, two, and three. And I live to tell the tale. Oh my god, this is great. Okay, oh, don't touch me. Yeah, now you can't see me. Update on the villagers. Half of my villagers are dead? Or gone? Uh, there's supposed to be a villager in here. With mending. And uh, there is no villager with mending. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into one more time lapse and that'll allow me to work on the rest of the build, kind of polish off some ideas and then show you what this is going to become. Grab your drinks, grab your popcorn, leave a like and subscribe. See how I tied that in? God, I'm so good at this. Ready, set, go. Well, my friends, that's it. The build is complete. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to like the video. Also hit the subscribe button because I'm really cool. And I think after building this kind of earned it. All right. The iron farm is officially a go. They are in their cages and oh, we have our iron golem and he's going to go right down in there. Bye. Is this the most efficient iron farm? Let's be real. No, no, it's not, not even a little bit, but we have our monsters waiting to come out and fight. Thankfully, the iron golem does not actually see them so they can safely stay in these cages and we don't have to worry about the golem accidentally killing them. We have the green screen. Wonder what I'm going to use that for. Hmm. Ideas. Ooh. Ooh, that's framed nicely. This is gonna be the VIP entrance. This will be like a, you know, a fancier area. But what I wanted to do was create a feeling. And with this space, I think I did it. You come in, you're like, oh my God, the show is starting. Whoa, I gotta get my seat. You could still see over. And I took into account some of the curves. So some of the chairs actually, you know, take into account, they don't wanna be facing this way. They want to be facing this way. So some of them, some of them have like that, like this right here. They face outward rather than do this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, it is so nice to have an iron farm up and working. Do I have any need for iron? Not right now, but eventually I will. This is so cool. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Oh God. Not me. Don't kill me. So this was a pretty big second episode. And I think for the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in some of these details. We're going to bring this place to life a little bit more. I wanted to start the series off strong, and I think I've managed to accomplish that. God, this this thing looks so cool from the air. Hold on. We, we got to go a little higher. We got to go a little higher and a little further out. Look at this. Look at this thing. We have the dragons. Oh, man. Can you imagine your favorite performer entertaining here instead of the death match that is the Iron Farm? All right, that's it for me. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do a variety of content here. So check around, see if there's some other stuff that you like. Make sure to like the video because we have we still have a lot of work to do on this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Later.